there's a Florida most have never seen until now. This is a fish of a lifetime. My name is Chad Crawford. I'm an adventure seeker and a lover of all things Florida. My mission, to show you how to experience authentic Florida. And we'll be tasting and savoring some of the best flavors Florida has to offer. I'm about to eat some of the best seafood in the world. So sit back oh, yeah. as we show you how to do Florida. On this episode of How to Do Florida, Chad and his wife Christy visit the place where it all began for them, the picturesque beach town of New Smyrna. Hey, we're gonna show you how to do a weekend getaway. And catch some fish. And don't rub it in. The Crawford's go-to family vacation spot offers the best in Florida's beach-going lifestyle, like bed and breakfast inns, quaint shopping, Indian River Lagoon fishing, and some tasty Florida fare at the Black Dolphin Inn Kitchen. Here, here. Hey, get ready, all you beach bums. It's time to do Florida. Get that. I got it. I'll, I'll get the rest. I I don't don't break yeah. the rod tips there. You know, with the kids to raise and a business to run, life can get crazy. The good news here in Florida, there are epic getaway destinations right around the corner. But we know planning a getaway isn't always easy as it sounds. So on today's episode, we're going to show you the steps that we take to get away with your better half. I'm your better half? No, I meant you spending time with me, uh, your better half. Oh, I see what you did there. Okay, moving around. Okay, good. Well, let's get on to step number one. Pick a location. Right. Hey, I don't want to rub it in here, but let's face it. We live where most people vacation, so options for getaways are plentiful. Christy and I are heading to New Smyrna Beach, just south of Daytona Beach, on what's known as Florida's Fun Coast. This fantastic little gem of a beach town has everything you could want. Great accommodations, terrific dining, shopping, tons of activities, and some of the most beautiful beaches. It also happens to hold a bit of a personal significance for Christy and me. New Smyrna Beach is where Chad used to take me when we were first dating. It's where we had our first kiss. It's where we fell in love. To do a getaway right, nothing beats staying at a local bed and breakfast. Not only are the rooms uniquely quaint and charming, but the staff can be invaluable in helping you decide where to go and what to do to make the most of your time together. New Smyrna Beach has a wide variety of places to stay, from beach houses, condos, to hotels. For our getaway, Christy and I have chosen to stay in the Black Dolphin Inn. You're gonna get specialized treatment. We can tell you where to go eat what to do, and you get to socialize with other guests here around the property as well. I love coming to a bed and breakfast because it's just full of decorating ideas. Each room has its own unique flair. Pulling into the Black Dolphin Inn is so impressive with the Mediterranean decor on the outside and on the inside, you get the mid-century modern feel. They do such a great job making you feel comfortable and at home. And they feed you breakfast. Mm. You need that. Oh, yeah. And I think the most special thing about it is that it's family owned. And it's basically just staying at a big home that is not yours and you don't have to clean up after yourself. But we were all super excited when we found out we were going to have a celebrity here. But then it turns out it was just Chad. The Black Dolphin Inn really is a home away from home. Now it's time to find some stuff to do. I mean, that's her. Hey, honey. So hey. tomorrow after fishing and lunch, I have a 20 minute window. Uh -huh. um, it's free, it's wide open. So we can do paddle boarding, we can do some light swimming. I know you love to shovel board, so I could probably pencil that in. Chad typically likes to pack in a lot of activities when we go on these getaways. Step two, have a list, a strong list of activities. And I would suggest doing a little research on the area you're gonna go to. Like we're here in New Smyrna Beach, no shortage of things to do, lots of stuff. Ooh, I know we can go to the surf shop. That's what we can do. Step three. Keep a loose schedule. I just like to kick back and relax. I'm hungry. Hmm. Um, I don't see that on the schedule. <laughs> when we return. My fishing buddy. Chad feels the burn as Christy reels him in on an Indian River Lagoon fishing excursion. <laughs> this is not fair. This is getting serious. And later, it's tasty Florida fare with a flair. Delish. You're watching How to Do Florida. When we come back, we're going to find out what Christy has on the other end of this line. 
Oh my gosh, and we just saw it, it's huge. One of the things we always do on family vacations is to let each person choose their favorite activity and we all do it together. Even if it's not your favorite activity, if you do it as a family, you're bound to make some great memories. So step number four, do something that the other person likes to do. Hey, Christy said I could choose any activity and this is my activity. We're fishing today with Bill and Bobby Fisher. No, I'm not making that up. That's their real name. Two brothers who are legendary guides here in New Smyrna Beach. And like most brothers, they agree on nothing. I'm the captain. I'm the captain. They're taking us out on the Indian River Lagoon on this picture-perfect Florida morning. We find a good spot, and before I can even get my bait in the water. Wow. Good. <laughs> what is that? It's a giant. Oh my gosh, he's got a huge trout wow. on. Wow. Oh guys, my gosh. Oh, you guys aren't kidding. And just like that, that? Whew, it's on. That is a oh, monster beautiful. trout. Oh. Woo. We've been out that here for maybe five <laughs> minutes, and Christy just pulled in perfect. a big, big trout. Bye-bye, fishy. Wow. Look at that. Woo. Oh, my gosh. Let me get out of your way here, girl. Woo lift him up, lift him up. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Okay, so I wanted to do this fishing trip, and yeah. Christy's already, like, just killing me. Whoa. Look at this fish. He looks bigger than the one you caught before. You think? Wow, sure is a pretty fish. Okay, you talk to the camera. I'm gonna go catch one, okay? Like, I can't the take this second anymore. second one. <laughs> I'm beating Chad bad today already. <laughs> yes, he's grunting. Oh, there we go. There mean? we go. There we go. <laughs> oh, he got oh, one. Oh. He came off. Okay, Chrissy's caught two. I've lost two. So, um, what I'm gonna do it could be a long day. This weekend getaway is quickly turning into my wife's getting away with all the fish. Isn't it a beaut? <laughs> right. Look at that. This is my kind of fishing, i tell you. You mean the one after another kind yeah. of fishing? Why don't we Try fish it. more like that one with you? <laughs> I'm more like one an hour. This is like one every 30 seconds. I like it. What you got, what you got, what you got? I got one, I got one. Go, 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 you oh got, gosh, oh my God, you, you got a snook. Oh my yes. gosh, you got to be kidding me. Oh. Wow. You caught a snook. Look at that. My first snook, honey. This girl is killing me. <laughs> she's, she's caught way more trout than I have, and here it is, she catches my favorite fish. Look how pretty that fish is. That is beauty. Absolutely gorgeous. You know, you come out here with a guy, you learn so much. These guys do this all the time. They live out here and they know this area and uh, it's just, they're just a wealth of knowledge. So you're not only catching fish, you're learning about the, the environment and uh, it is just a, a full, full experience. Yeah, these guys sure know what they're doing, <laughs> don't they? <laughs> need, yeah, they do. Don't mess around at all. All right, this is my top water box. <laughs> okay, so I've asked Bobby Fisher here to show me um, his tools of the trade. This is a little glimpse into your soul here, isn't it? This is, yes, it is. This is a lot of um, your hard work, your knowledge of being out here for so long, um, some of your lures. Bobby, if you had to pick one of these and one only to fish with the rest of your life, which would it be? Be this one that's no longer made. That's no longer made, of course. It doesn't make any noise at all. This is for schooling redfish in okay. shallow water because you can work this right over the top of them. Uh, a lot of times when they hit it, it's just a barely a little, a little swirl, mm -hmm. and that's all there is to it. Yeah. But you can catch those real spooky redfish. Yeah. I'm blown away at the amount of quality fish we've been catching this morning. And they're real pretty color, they're thick, yeah. they're healthy. Yeah, and you guys make it look so easy. That's what we do. <laughs> <laughs> well, you do it really, really well. What we like to do is to have the ladies out catch the men. And things were looking really, really good for Christy. It doesn't hurt that I'm way in the lead with catching fish. Whoa. And, and Chad was, I don't know, he was looking a little bit... Feeling the pressure. <laughs> he was definitely feeling the pressure. I'm feeling pretty good you, about it. Well, as long as you feel good, <laughs> then somehow, somewhere along the way, I'll start to feel better. But right now, it stings a little bit. <laughs> oh, something just slammed my bait here. 
Come on, baby, come on. Be a big trout. Be a big trout. Big no. snook. Big snook. Oh. That's a catfish. <laughs> Sail cat. That's embarrassing. <laughs> Actually, the embarrassing part wasn't the catfish. It was my wife hooked the biggest fish of the day at the same time. Oh, I got something. What do you got over there, girl? I got a real fish. Honey, help me get this catfish <laughs> off the hook. Are you kidding me? Honey, I need help no getting way. this catfish I'm off the hook. going to break my rod. I've seen Christy catch some big fish. This was a monster. Are you getting tired? Yeah. You want me to pet tag in for you? No. Oh, OK. <laughs> 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 You are not getting credit for this one. Uh, well, I just, if you need any help, I'm just trying to help you. This is a monster, monster redfish. redfish. Yeah. Look at oh that. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is like holding a child. You've got to be kidding me. I mean, that is giant. This is the biggest redfish you've ever caught, right? Oh, probably biggest fish I've ever caught. Ever caught. Yeah. So was this fun? This is amazing. <laughs> that was, he is a fighter. When me and Christy first started dating, we came out here and catching redfish, and yeah, the one we caught was a little smaller than that. So. <laughs> she caught the biggest redfish in her life. Thanks for the fun adventure. That's what <laughs> really motivates us to go tomorrow, and the next day, and the day after. And the smile on her face was just. Unbelievable. Bye-bye. My understanding that Chad was the fisherman out here, but uh, I don't believe that was the case today. No. Nope. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this. It's all right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up, it's a trip to the Black Dolphin Inn kitchen. It's rich, it's creamy, it's mm. crunchy, it's delicious. With executive chef Mackenzie Smith for a taste of New Smyrna feel-good delights. So good. <laughs> You're watching How to Do Florida. We'll be right back. Oh, yeah. Okay, so after fishing all morning, Christy and I stopped in at one of the many places along the Indian River to get lunch. And then after we had had our fill of some local seafood, we hit Flagler Avenue for some light shopping. Look at this. Look at that. Oh gosh, Flagler Avenue. So we're on Flagler Avenue here, and this is the kind of an iconic photo of that Main Street sign, which is right outside here. You want that? Let's see. I'd like that, yeah. Really? Yeah, you want it? Sure. Oh, wow, I love that. Look at that. It's like our first house. Oh, my gosh, totally. OK, now it's time for step four. Do something the other person enjoys doing. Oh, I already got that one. When? What? When we were fishing, right between my fourth and fifth fish. OK, all right, don't remind me of that. All right, can we move on to step five? Sure. Enjoy local food and culture. Mmm, this tea is delicious, Mackenzie. Oh, I'm glad you like it. So this is actually a local tea called Yopon Brothers. Yopon is actually a native Floridian plant. Uh, native Floridians have been drinking it for 10,000 years. That's a long and time. <laughs> yeah, totally. And they've actually started producing this here to kind of get people to go more local. Mm. It's one of our all-time favorites. Awesome. Hey, I hear you make a really good grilled cheese sandwich. Is that right? Yes, absolutely. You want to come back and I'll show you how to make one? Really? Yeah, I'd love to. Come on. Mackenzie with the Grilled Cheese Social just invited me into her kitchen to cook with her. OK, so I have four kids, and they all <laughs> love grilled cheese sandwiches. Right. So tell me, how can I step up my game, and what are the key ingredients for a grilled cheese? So today, we're going to basically kind of make like a flounder Reuben. A flounder Reuben? You mean you actually put fish on a grilled cheese sandwich? Yeah. That sounds crazy. It sounds crazy, right? Yeah. But it works. So to make a really good grilled cheese, I say you got to follow the three Bs. And that's base, butter, and blend. Base, butter, and blend. So the base is the bread. Okay. You want a super good, delicious bread. Today, mm. we're going to be using this marbled rye. I cut it nice and thick because yeah. it's a grilled cheese. You don't want to, like, go easy on it, you know? Mm. And then for the blend, that talks about what we're putting inside the grilled cheese. Also, most importantly, is butter. Of course. You're Everything eating it. is better with butter, right? <laughs> totally, totally. And since you're eating a grilled cheese, it's rich, it's creamy, it's mm. crunchy, it's delicious. 
And if you don't use real butter, it's gonna get soggy and gross. Okay. And then if you wanna put some cheese onto each slice, we've got some Havarti and then some baby Swiss. And this mm. is like a rich and creamy sandwich, so don't be afraid of the cheese. That's awesome. My kids would love this. Oh yeah, okay, absolutely. So this is the local flounder that my brother caught. Mm. Um, I like to use local ingredients as often as I can. I think we live in such like a great atmosphere for that kind of stuff. Definitely. And why not take advantage of the local produce and so the local true. fish? And then this is my coleslaw. Okay. So you want to make sure that you're not using a really wet coleslaw because it'll make the sandwich soggy. So I kind of let it sit for a while, kind of mm -hmm. soak up all that mayonnaise vinegary, sugary, salty goodness. Okay. So then I'll just put a little bit on top. And you know, you don't have to use red cabbage. You can kind of use anything you want. It looks so pretty though. It brings a color right? to that's, it. Right, and yeah. that's my whole thing is I don't want a beige sandwich. Mm -hmm. I love eating beautiful food. And Definitely. I think this kind of makes it even prettier. So we can basically just take this um, top piece and okay. just place it right on top. Just like so. Oh yeah. All right. Ooh, so look, so how good does that look? Yummy. Oh, it's so colorful. So All right. is this where the butter comes in? Or? This is where the butter right. comes in. And this is just softened, salty butter. Mm, mm, mm. And I'm just going to smear a little bit of it on top. Oh my so gosh, pretty. Go. All right, oh now the, the moment has come. Oh, looks so good. And I'm just going to basically hover this over because I don't want it to smush the sandwich. Okay. But I also want it to cook from both sides. And how long does it take for it to cook? Honestly, just a few minutes. It's really, really fast. Mm. So I just kind of lock it so that it floats. All right. Well, this is one of the things that Chad and I love about bed and breakfast. Just this local flair, the food, the personal interaction. I know. And we love it. It's just, you, you do feel like you're kind of in your own home, but being well taken care of. Yeah, <laughs> and especially with the Black Dolphin, we're all family here. Mm. So we actually feel like when people leave, we're like, no. Don't go, we'll miss you. <laughs> oh, yes, we've enjoyed getting to meet all of your family members. Oh, Everyone's thank you. so nice. So how do you know when a grilled cheese sandwich is done? So when all the cheese is melted and the exterior is super golden and crispy, colorful, bright. It really is. A Look taste nice. of New Smyrna. Good job. <laughs> all right, let's dig in. All right, this looks so delicious. Where can I find more recipes like this? So you can find all of my grilled cheese recipes, including this one on my blog, grilledcheesesocial.com. Ooh, I can't take it any longer. Yeah, girl. Mmm. Mmm. What time did we get up this morning? Early. <laughs> Early 30 <laughs> is when we got up. Um, but worth it, right? Oh, it's been amazing. I mean, this is one of the things that Chrissy and I like to do when we travel. We like to get up early and just enjoy a sunrise. Get us some nice chairs, some coffee, and just enjoy it. I mean, this is kind of those opportunities to really kind of take in, you know, this setting and just kind of be alone. Yeah, it's just so peaceful. We're the only ones out here. Yeah. You know, one of the many iconic features here in New Smyrna Beach is where we are right now, Disappearing Island. As you can see, we're right here by the uh, lighthouse and right near Ponce Inlet. And it's basically a giant sandbar that sits right here in the inlet. And it kind of comes and goes with the tide. Great place to come up here and pull your boat up, have a picnic, hang out, and just relax. And this island is significant for Christy and I. This is one of the first places that we really got to know each other. We came out here and had a great fishing experience. And uh, so when you come here, make sure you make it to Disappearing Island. Well, you just can't script a better getaway weekend. Oh, yeah. From the personalized accommodations to the fishing trip, Christy will never let me forget. <laughs> it, it was so cool to watch you bring that fish in. To great local food. This looks so delicious. And don't forget that beautiful New Smyrna Beach. Just take it in. I encourage you to plan a getaway with someone you care about to the quaint coastal town of New Smyrna Beach. But you might want to keep a tide chart on you. Hmm, oranges, fish, okay. what? Our, our disappearing island is like disappearing right now. No, I think, I think we're okay. We've got, this is all high ground here. Hey! Where's the boat? I don't know. 
No. I hope you learned something. But more importantly, I hope you feel encouraged to get out and do Florida. You gotta make the S bigger, honey. It's gotta be a bigger S. I think the boat's over here. Help me make a big S right here. Do you have any flare guns or something? We don't have any flares. Mm -hmm. S. Want more How to Do Florida? Get on howtodoflorida.com. There you can browse our collection of videos. Watch full episodes. Need Florida recipes? We've got plenty. Get your How to Do Florida gear on our online store. howtodoflorida.com, your resource for experiencing authentic Florida. Accommodations for the cast and crew provided by Night Swan Intracoastal Bed and Breakfast. Do you see the sun? I do see the sun, honey. Your hand's really far away. <laughs> we share all, all our knowledge and all the places that we go and, and everything that we catch. Well, maybe not all of it. Oh, really? Wrapped all around the oh. camera. <laughs> camera guy, honey, I'm sorry. You know, all this up here, this is all street Aww, here. This great. lure has, is just you. It's got all my okay. colors on it. You might have a bird swoop in and grab you. <laughs> Ow! Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Trout, redfish, snook, New Smyrna slam. I mean, this is amazing. This is a dream fishing yeah. trip. Just catching them like it's no big deal. <laughs> I've not caught a snook yet. Chad was feeling the pressure. <laughs>